Well, hello guys, Josh Bab here with Wild Outdoors. Today, what we're going to be doing is, I want to, because spring is here and it's upon us, I want to get um, some footage of that, but I didn't want to just do a spring video, so I want to do um, just kind of an in and out video, just a little here and there, not something I can make a video on, really, unless I tie it together. So what's going to be, is it's going to be... Um, wild edibles, two wild edibles, wild onion, and common blue violet. And the other thing is how to make a bobber um, for fishing off the land. So stay tuned and don't go away. As you can see here, all this and this is common blue violet. And in the in the spring, early spring you'll see them start to come out of the ground. They're a bulbous plant, so if you were to, um, I guess, live out in the wilderness, you could always dig up a root bulb, put it in a different spot in your garden that'd come up every year. So it does make a great wild edible food. And these are the flowers of it. And I'm gonna put a disclaimer right here. I'm no by means an expert on wild edibles. I know I've just eaten this before, so make sure you do your research before. I'm not responsible for you getting sick or anything like that. Not responsible for you eating wild edibles. So, you guys can see that's the leaf of the common blue violet. Someone needs to fix their brakes. So that's the leaf. And this leaf is actually edible. So all you need, all you have to do is just pick it Need it. And it tastes like a, I'd say it's like a lighter spinach. It's actually quite good. So, I'm not sure if the flour is edible. My bet is that it is, but I'm going to leave it be. And another wild edible while we're at it, I know I said I'll only do two, but since I see it right here, I think it is worth mentioning. I'll bring you in closer. I have focused in on this patch right here. And this, I'm trying to find a healthy spout of it. Here's some. It's um, chickweed, and this stuff grows all year round. Um, so it's a great wild edible for the uh, spring. If I can get this thing to focus, there you go. And you can see its petals, its lobes. It has little hairs underneath the leaves. And that's a good sign. What you do for this one is you can you can cook these up, but I just prefer to eat it. And it tastes like the smell of fresh cut grass. Um, but it doesn't have a bad taste. You know, those two things would be well in a salad. I also forgot to mention that the wild the the blue violet is also can be added to stews to help thicken it. So that's also another use of the plant. It's a very, very tasty plant. Okay guys, the last one I'm going to go over here is the um, wild onion. And this stuff tastes just like onion. Um, the onion bulbs, you can dig down and get the bulbs. These come up every year. Um, so you could also plant these in a wild garden. They'll come back up every year. But what most people like to do is just take the tops and eat them. And if you've ever had chives, they just they taste just like chives. Really good for cooking, so if you like get a fish or something, this will be a thing to put on it. Speaking of fish, let's make a bobber. I'll show you how to do that. Okay guys, right here we have a big sweet gum tree and this sweet gum tree can be used to make a bobber what we're going to do is we're going to take off the bo the bark now the, the bark grows in pads and it's almost like cork which makes it an excellent bobber now you can use um, punk wood for a bobber but it tends to just crack and it, it just won't last on a fishing trip this stuff is solid it's not rotten and it's quite thick and it's quite foamy and very strong so it makes an excellent bobber and I'll show you guys how to do that now. You can see here 
we have a nice thick section and keep trying to keep my camera on the background what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in take that out we got our piece of bark here and you can see we could use it as is sorry I'm looking at the viewfinder um, we could use it as it as is and it would probably work quite well just won't focus on me anyway but in order to make things last and uh, make your time worth I just like to take either my spine which your spine will work but I find it just starts to break so you want to take it and just scrape off the very top of that bark you just want to get off all the gray well thank you guys for joining me today um, on this wonderful beautiful spring day thunder sh showers are supposed to be coming in soon pardon all the um, screaming kids and the noises of planes and cars and everything else I'm in my backyard I'll hopefully get a video soon um, back out at where I normally film but until then yeah little projects like these are awesome to do at home so stay tuned hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you in the next one